So just up at Blackberry Farms today, we're getting a lot of slurry. No, nope, not even slurry, it's actually digestive. And 32,000 gallons of acre. Yeah. You're in Princess to save money, it's. Yes, we do Feet up, as yeah, you have your wee cracky slippers on as well. You should have. <laughs> Always comfortable. Is, is that now the style norm? You, you need to be comfy trainers and stuff like that, but now you're uh, the pump tractor, so you, do, you don't want to stretch yourself. Normally the shoes would come off and they would sit in that steering wheel and lie on the phone, but I, I, you're on here, so I can't do it now, like. Well, of course, of course, but I do have a photo of that. I do you have a photo of it? Oh, you didn't see me sitting in front of you there for five minutes. I <laughs> So, 32,000 gallon Argonites were down on the ground uh, at the lower side of the digester. Uh, the Wii 516 is on the 15 meter double bar. Uh, it spread nicely. We, when I fly in the drone over the head of the ground, you can see the swans have almost grazed that field too often. Uh, and there's, they're everywhere. Uh, you see it, it's all patchy down there at the moment? I've seen them, same ground down there, it's all patchy. And like I say, I think that's the same ground that last year got overseen it after first cutting to try and improve the patches. Yeah. The swans every winter come into the same place oh, and they keep grazing in the same spots. Yeah. So it's almost impossible to try and keep ahead of them. Yeah. And it no, is a bit no control. Yeah, yeah. It's almost it's almost worse than sheep. No, worse. Ten times worse. But you can see where the ground is actually tramp trapped. Aye. Now the sheep they'll they'll graze the whole thing where the swans will just stay in a hole. Aye. The whole yeah. thing. Aye, as you say, the sheep will move across it. The swans are just basically in those three wee those right. three wee holes. And you can see <laughs> clearly as day the photograph. Yeah. Um and all that. But then again, this time last year, if I remember correct, I had already been up with Rob. Slurry was about two weeks earlier last year. March was more or less a washout. And I'm just hoping this year turns out a lot better. I hope that too. Yeah. I don't think we're doing all the same as last year. Definitely not. But I will say one thing. Down here, all the ground's below sea level. It's approximately two metres below, something like that there. Two metres, yeah. We've all, everybody always asks what the concrete holes are, the holes there. Those are basically concrete culverts for the drainage, which is up below. And everybody always says to me, oh, they're painting the arse, they're painting the arse. But they've been here as long as I remember, whenever it used to be green grounds for a different guy. And I can't provide the bit of dry ground down here, except this bit. Except that bit there. Give good drilling, that's definitely one thing. Yeah. Because if they weren't there, this place would be gone. Yeah. Definitely covered water. Yeah. Oh, but not the that's the I mean, like you just have to work with what you got. Yeah. Like just the other side of that sea wall or lock foil wall, whatever you want to call it, that is lock foil. Mm -hmm. And then in front of us as we're looking out through you know, your back up into the harbour. Um, how many acres have you done on this side so far? Oh that's a good question. I'm not sure about that. Am I right in saying that's there's an 80, 80 acre something? A good couple of hundred acres at least. Oh yeah, yeah, you'd be well up in a couple of hundred acres. And you, you don't really have to move. No. Because you just basically sit here sit and all, all the pipe just goes <laughs> out to your right hand side. You're right. And you're sitting on the two phones going. Uh, so you might as well, like I said, I don't care okay, with me. But does it not get a bit boring for you sitting on the pump in one spot? Whereas would you prefer moving a bit about? Or are you quite never. happy to sit here? I'm quite happy to sit here. Oh, good luck, good luck. So, I, I do nothing, so. Well, I suppose, I suppose you have it easy <laughs> enough to all that there. The jest that you're spreading, you know, you'll see in the dribble bar when I run up through the field, it is actually pretty uh, thin. There's no real. Nothing really can go wrong. Yeah. Unless you get a kink in the pipe, but that doesn't. Yeah, well, Elliot's north side of the field, so like... It's a good man, on the the good man over there, so yeah. it's better him over there instead of me, because I'd have her wrapped up in his fucking butts. <laughs> do you think actually we could do that? See if, do you think actually we could put a bit of pressure on Rob and have that happen, and see how much you squirm, because... Like, oh, sir, he was stressed out too much. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, what do you think? <laughs> He's asked for it now. <laughs> he would love it. Oh, I don't hear. Be honest with you, he's easy to work with. Oh, he's no. really easy to work with. So laid back, so chilled. I know better, man. But you're panicking a wee bit. Not panicking a wee bit, but you're stressed a wee bit over the new toy. Yeah. Well, so, you're right. It's been my album of one to marker first. That's the thing about it. Yeah, so in a couple of weeks' time, if ground dries properly, mm -hmm. we're going to have the 190 on the 54 KV. That's right. You've never ploughed before? Well, you have, but a 2 fur uh, on a wee 135 yes. to go to a 5 fur on a TM 190. Uh, convertible. And a reversible. No. And most of the ground's by the road. Yes. So everybody's going to see it. Everybody's going to see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. But I suppose it's no better way to learn, like, or what way to learn if you're on a TM 190. Yeah. A lot of people don't like them, regarded probably as a make or break for you haul. Some people are good ones, some people are bad ones. But you're sitting there with 200 plus horse. Yeah. No TM 190 was ever 190 horsepower, let's, let's face it, they ever were. 
I'm like, she's going to play with a five four. Oh my god. Well, of course, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if we get a level first. <laughs> I, I, I still remember my first day playing. Oh goodness. I didn't know what way to look at it all out there. I get home that night and it says it wasn't the state of Australia. You're sitting going, I think I called it something. And you look at it the way home, it's like, it's like a banana. It's <laughs> like, yeah, I think I need to go back tomorrow and try the game. That's not my GPS, no. I'm just cheating. No, it's not cheating, sir. Flying with GPS in fur is cheating. <laughs> That's not the easy way. It's the easy way out. No, it is not. It is the easy way out. No, 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 no. Come on. You might as well put it the 516 then. Uh, no, I'm just going to be on off that. Forget about it. Too late. No oh, way. Oh, no, I'd be cruel for it. That is cruel. That's so. But then again, I think starting out, I prefer the team to play with. Aye. Uh, but then you want to play this? Yes. And we both know the answer to that. no. Luxury, comfort. Yeah. Oh, fairness, don't get me wrong. Seems that's our dream, sir. I am fucking very lazy with that. But then again, luxury. But is it laziness or is it how well the fence set up? It's how well, that's how, it's how well she's set up. Because everything's, the, the, everything's at your fingertips. Yeah, because that's what we said to say. The vent joystick, a lot of people have tried to copy it. Or people who argue with me yeah. forward and back that they haven't copied it, they have copied it. But the vent joystick, everything is at your fingertips. <laughs> you program it, you go, you're in, yeah. you have three sets of programmable things. To me, the vent joystick makes makes life very easy as an operator. Yeah, yes. Especially then, whenever you sort of, you do that to the nitty a bit more, you get your more set, you get the setup a bit more perfected, you learn your ins and outs, yeah. and away you go. It's, you know, at the end of the day, you're buying a tractor, 150, 200,000 pounds, why not use every single bit it's been done yes, for? That's right. You know, I've seen some really good people program mowers to be able to just press go and end, and they know right we're twenty feet away. Go, she's all timed into it and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, try to press everything. Yeah, you can have that go one hundred micro drop at the same time. Yeah, the go one end. Like you know, there's all that different. There's so much different things you can do with it. But to me, why wouldn't you use it? That's right. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's there for a reason. Guy. You're paying the money for the specification in it. And like some people sit and say to me, no, oh, it has to go with a school valve, a school valve, or it has to be this, and has to be this. But, you know, everybody makes technology work their own way. Because, like, the Wii, four, uh, the Wii 516, she replaced the 415. Aye. And the 516 compared to the 415, don't get me wrong, 415 was an animal. Aye. Everybody she, loved them. She was tiny. She was you tiny. were definitely not fucking that young, sir. Right, you behave. <laughs> but a 415 to a 516 Aye. is like, that's night and day. Uh, that was right. Yeah. You know, you're stepping massively there in technology, you're stepping massively there in comfort, yeah. specification. The only thing I'd say about a 516, and that's not just me because I mean, the size of me and you bollocks, cheeky bollocks, <laughs> it's more the fact of the 516 basically stepped up on tip like a cap. Oh, I'll have to say the same too. Yeah. He was a giant trying to get on that thing. Yeah. He, Elliot's, could, not, he could not get on there. Like, Elliot's not big, big like I am. He's tall. But he's tall. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, that was right. But then again, I seen yesterday a I seen a three one two the other day, a three one three. And even they used to be like known as a tiny tractor. By no means Sam Sider smoking tiny. Oh, really? But then again, it's the five one six down here sits quite a bit because it is heavy clay ground. Yeah. You do have a bit of bog ground, which that bit across from there us is a bit of bog ground, but her and the seven tens, six hundred zeo vips. Like that was my last set of tires I sold before I left yeah. JB's. And they see the way she's working stuff now. I know yeah. she got all Mitchell and come out, did a really good job of getting her all weighed up and stuff. Uh, we have her something low pressure now. But that's what she's there for. But, like, yeah. you know, arguably you can literally sit and say she's the perfect dribble bar tractor because. She is. See that gator with the gator? That gator leave more of a track than that tractor leave a track. And the gator leave more of a park than a 516. That's brutal. Wow. You want to see? Uh, there actually, I think there's tracks on it up there in the where I was driving through the gator. And Elliot keeps coming up behind me and he wasn't leaving a mark. Goodness. That is a madness. But like she's only what six and a half ton, yeah. and you're sitting on seven tenths in the rear, six hundred in the front. Like she's virtually left that you make no footprint. Yes, that's right. And you get her what's up in about a ton, and she is tracking her around. Yeah, this is. But it just goes to show you if you put, if you work technology the way you're around stuff like that. Yeah, there. that's right. So you're.
there's a very interesting fact that I never actually thought about this, and you've just mentioned. So you're waiting for the tide to go out. Yes. So you can actually drain ground because you need the tide out in order to get the lower water table yes. in order for you to find the proper drainage point. That's right. Yeah. Because that's how far below sea level we are at the moment. Is that you have to wait for the tide to go out and out before you can actually drain it. Yes, that's right. Because then if you start draining beforehand, water level goes up. Water you don't know where you're at. Right, that's right. The Roman we gear land them. They had sheep on there grazing. Yeah. And uh, if you go down the gate, it's just something there. Just to the ground, is that saturated? Just to the ground, is that saturated? Just ringing. You can see the water sitting on top of it. Yeah, that's whole crop, right? That's whole crop, right? Is that the three fields over? That's the one side, just as you go in the left or lane. Just in the lane, turns to the left? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know, I, yeah. They're yeah. very wet. Very wet, but last year, cut the whole crop. The whole crop was a wee bit more yellow. Uh, and we have taken in the delves out there. Because it had turned a wee bit more, it was a higher starch level, higher starch level was actually fit to digest there better, which was something I never knew. So, you know, it's wee things that got there, but it's interesting to see that you guys have to wait for the tide to go out in order to get a fit grains. That's right. And then, is it panic stations dig her in, or do you get the... At the minute, uh, Elliot was chatting about that we're going to dig a hole in one of the corners. Yeah. And do a deep enough hole and put some more from the pump in and then send it back underneath the railway tracks mm -hmm. and back into the foil again so it's just a matter of pumping the water out and right, up and over and across a bit like they do in Ballykelly yeah. where they have the pump they actually dedicate a pump houses with the Deutz air cooled yeah. engines yeah, that's so kind of doing some, some very something very similar something similar to that yeah. yeah just to keep the water circling so we can keep on the stay on the bit yeah. we do have a big donut pump eh? we do have a big donut pump you think we donut pump? no we could use that one no no don't tell sir that's the sort of thing the thing's getting away abuse it's not the week Oh, but you're my pearl in. But you're pearl in. Oh, sorry, too many pearl pearl in. I was going to sit and say, yeah. I was going to sit and say, yeah. you be careful there. I know, sir. <laughs> you be very careful there. That one, uh, you'll get you in trouble. The last time I took the, the five on six to charge her on, hey, she wasn't impressed. Why not? I suppose your wife has claimed this now. And she has claimed this. Yeah. She hits the five on six. Can I stand it, sir? Right. I suppose oh. we tie your cow. But then we are trying to. I've got you a couple of times where it's been. Because you know your other halves come down, you're working the late hours. Right. I suppose that's one thing for you. As I, oh, sorry, that's one thing as a couple for you guys. Like she very much accepts the long hours. Right. The very you know. So but that's the thing. Right. There's quite a few people I know who are dating <coughs> people dating. You know, they're having relationships. All that cry on there. The other half partner, whatever went bed weeks. I know both sides. They don't like the long hours. They don't right. like the time the fact you're away. It's Fridays, Saturdays, right. Sundays. It's every hour you get to work. Yeah. But I suppose then I've got I've come down here quite a few times and yeah. the wife's come down, yeah. jumped in beside you, kept you company, which yeah. is another point in farming that a lot of people struggle with because they they're on their own. Yeah. And they need to understand it yeah. and that's the bigger point too. Yeah. And you know, the fact that she completely understands what you do, yeah. that's that's, right. that's the bigger point of it. Yeah. Oh that's great. Well, that's great for you because that means anytime you're hungry or something like that or you need something fed or you have a company. You haven't taught her how to drive it yet, though. Oh, I have. Oh, I should have done it while I tried her on me. She was loving it. Oh, no, I'm at field work. I oh, know, it's not that. She yeah. hasn't got the courage side yet, but she will. I like how you say yet because. Yeah, we will get that. She'll, she'll, she'll see the money and she'll batter me for it. <laughs> Everybody, we did hear that. She will get battered for this, so. Uh, anybody wants to ring child line? Right, uh, ring them. <laughs> But no, it's nice to see that there too. You know, to say that takes a lot of pressure off, especially considering, you know, you could be done, if you go plowing now, it could be you yourself for like two full days, three full days. Wife pops down, that's keeps right. company for a couple of hours. Kind of helps, kind of helps keep the sanity a bit as well. Yeah, that's right. And there's not many men that would move people on the tractors. That's where Robert, he's a family friendly man. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. Funny the conversation. You know one day I'm going to say this here now. You said having a family or two, man, and very much is. Because I remember he messaged me one day, and uh, he says, "Lad, he says I've just been to one of the best burger places." <laughs> I burst out laughing when he said that to me. And I says, "What?" He says, "The other way we both like our food." He says, "Andrew, you really like your food?" <laughs> yes, I do like my food. And he says, "I've just tried this new burger place." He says, "You have to go to Notorious Street Food." And he sent it all through. And within a couple of weeks, I was up there and I had it. Really lovely food. And then, as I said, I was chatting to Rob last night to see what was happening in the plans. And I was telling him about the wee New Mexican and Vladio Papi and stuff like that there. It's just like, you know, you get to know people and you get to sort of build relationships and stuff like that. They're like, lad, I've seen this place or this place here is quite good. And, like, I've come down here and I've met you. And, you know, 
I know your message, she's on the gym training where I was training and stuff like that there and you know, it's amazing how all these little things all occur together around yeah. the same places and the same people and you know it's it's well, nice to see a nice wee follow through. Right there. We're all around my family over here. Oh, of course we are. Like I just went down here and these boys don't care. No. Like as I said, you jump on the side with the camera and you were sitting me at the very start. Uh, no. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, we're sat here now, we're sitting in this cab maybe half an hour. Uh, and like, trying to clear down. Yeah. But it's, it's, well, it's all about a banter and all about a crack. Yeah. Like, far too many people only take all this serious. Yeah. And I'd just rather a bunch have a bit of banter and a bit of crack. You never take life seriously. No, well, certain things take serious. No. And the 99.9% <laughs> of it, you don't. And like, as I said to someone the other day, and I do stand by this, if you can't control it, it's not worth worrying about. That's right. Like, Really, it's not worth worrying about. Like if I pipe blue now and covered all this crap, yes, yeah. or washer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. What is what is it? Robert always says, "No time for problems, only solutions." No time for problems, only solutions. That's his motto. Rob, have you that trademark by the way? Because I quite <laughs> like that. Uh, but yeah, no, I completely agree with you. Like no, I didn't know Rob uh, properly. I don't know how I fell in with him. Actually, I was down at the whole crop one day, been chatting to him. I'll not tell you the circumstances of how we get talking, <laughs> but it was a fit of whole crop. And uh, Rob, you know far too well what what happened that day. And from then onwards, I've just been chatting away, and some of the conversations I've had with him, yeah. you know, and half of them are serious and half of them aren't. You know, it's that's just about a banter for it, back and through and through. Oh. So, all that. Yeah. But listen, folks. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. I'm going to let these guys sort it now because I say this since the last fins. Time to get pipe rolled up, all that there. You've got to go away and do wifey duties. Ah, oh, come on now. No. You're just saying that the camera's recording. Aye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but listen, cheers for tuning in. Thank you very much. And uh, if you do like what you see, hit subscribe. And I'll be back again when he's playing. And yeah, I think I might give him one fin to get used to the play. Uh, definitely. Definitely. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. we'll see how much, we'll see how much Rob wants to abuse him. Just throw me in the deep end, like? Well, we'll see what Rob thinks first. If Rob <laughs> thinks he did a bit of a straight off the bat, we'll be there for the very first word. <laughs>